Hi, kids. Today we will learn about verbs and their types. We know that verbs are also known as action words, and we also learned about helping verbs, which do not show any action, but they are very important in a sentence. Now we will learn about various types of verbs according to the functions they perform in a sentence. There are three types of verbs: action verbs, also called main verbs, linking verbs, and the auxiliary verbs, also called helping verbs. The action verbs tell us what the subject is doing in the sentence. Action verbs answer the following question. What is the subject doing? For example, Michael is playing football. So, what is Michael doing? Michael is playing. So, the action verb is playing. Andy is climbing the stairs. What is Andy doing? Andy is climbing. So, the action verb is climbing. Action verbs. Can be further classified into transitive verbs, intransitive verbs, dynamic verbs, and stative verbs. Transitive verbs are those verbs in which the action is being done upon an object. An object is always there along with the transitive verb. She is writing a book here. The subject is she, and what is she writing? She is writing a book. So, a book is the object of the action in this sentence, and writing is a transitive verb, as the action of writing is done upon the object book. There are also sentences in which the verb is not having any object. That is. The action is not done upon any object. For example, she reads every day. So there is no object on which the action of reading is being done upon. Such verbs are called intransitive verbs. Here is another example. Michael is playing right now. Here we know that Michael is playing, but we do not know what Michael is playing. So playing is an intransitive verb here. Remember, those verbs which have an object are called transitive verbs, and those which do not have an object after them are called intransitive verbs. Next category of verbs we have dynamic verbs. These verbs are used when there is an actual action or process happening in a sentence. For example, he is playing golf. Here, the act of playing golf is an action being done by the subject. This action of playing golf can be physically seen by someone. She wears glasses. Here. The act of wearing glasses by the subject can be physically seen. Now let's learn what are stative verbs. These are the verbs that tell us about a state of mind of the subject or describe the situation he or she is in. They can also describe the relation between the subject and the object. These verbs. Do not tell about an actual action happening in a sentence. For example, he hates chocolate. Here, the hatred for chocolate describes the mental condition of the subject and not an action taking place. So, hates is a stative verb. The house requires a new coat of paint. Here. The subject is the house, and the object is paint. The stative verb requires describes a relationship between the subject, the house, and the object, paint. So we learned that action verbs or main verbs 
are divided into four categories. Transitive, intransitive, dynamic, and stative. Transitive verbs have an object after them. Intransitive verbs do not have an object after them. Dynamic verbs tells us about an actual action taking place. And stative verbs mention those actions which cannot be physically seen. So we have learned about main verbs or action verbs. Now the second category of verbs is linking verbs. These verbs tell nothing about the subject. Instead, link the subject to a noun or an adjective. Consider the sentence. Lisa is beautiful. Here, the subject, Lisa, is linked by the verb is to the adjective beautiful. So the verb is is a linking verb. They are intelligent students. Here, the linking verb are is linking the subject they to the adjective intelligent. So, the verb are is a linking verb. The most common linking verbs are all the forms of the verb be. It has seven other forms. Is, am, are, was, were, been, being. Verbs like appear, seem, taste, turn, sound, smell, are also used as linking verbs as they sometimes link a subject to its complement. For example, the mushroom pizza tastes delicious. Here, the verb taste links the subject mushroom pizza to its complement delicious. So, it's a linking verb. Here we have another example. Sam appears tired. Here, the verb appears links the subject, Sam, to its complement, tired. So, it's a linking verb. Now we will be learning the third type of verbs. And they are auxiliary verbs or helping verbs. They are also divided into two types. Primary auxiliaries and model auxiliaries. Primary auxiliaries are the verbs used in forming the tenses and voices of other verbs. They include all the forms of verbs be, do, and have. We already know that the verb be has seven other forms. Is, am, are, was, were, being, and being. The verb do has two other forms, did and done. And the verb have has two other forms, has and had. As we have learnt in our previous sections, that helping verbs tells us about the tense and voice of the main verb. For example, I am writing a letter. Here, the verb am is a helping verb and it suggests that the subject is in singular first person and the tense is present tense. The other category of auxiliaries or helping verbs is model verbs. Model verbs are used to indicate modality. Modality allows the speakers to express certainty, possibility, willingness, obligation, necessity, or ability. The following model verbs are there in the English language. Can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must, had to, ought to, used to, need, dare. We will learn more about model verbs and their uses in the following sections. So far now, we have learned category of verbs, action verbs, linking verbs, and helping verbs. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye!
Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.